Brawl gave us 31 brand new stages, and most of them are pretty good. I will admit that I'm not as into these Brawl stages when compared to Melee, but there's still plenty of good ones here. So let's take a look at my top 10 favorite Super Smash Bros. Brawl stages. And like last time, and the time before that, these are my top 10 favorite stages. This is not the definitive list of the best Brawl stages. These are just the stages that I like to fight on or hold some nostalgic value to me. So I'm sorry if your favorite stage isn't on here. And also like last time, I will not be counting stages that were in previous games. So no melee stages, only the stages that made their debut in Brawl. Let's get started. Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship comes from Wind Waker, but I'm sure that's very obvious because of the vibrant and colorful cell shaded design, which is a design unlike most of the game. While the Pirate Ship is super fun, my favorite thing about it are the different gimmicks that occur that are surprisingly not that annoying. Yeah, the cannons, which do a crap ton of damage, and the catapult are pretty obnoxious, but I really like the tornado and whenever the boat crashes into the rock, which is probably my favorite part to fight on. The pirate ship itself also does well as a stage to fight on, and you'll see the King of Red Lions every once in a while, which is a nice touch. And I'll also mention that this stage came back in Smash 4, and the Omega stage is amazing. WarioWare Inc. I don't know how popular the WarioWare games are, but personally, I love them. I grew up with Mega Party games on the GameCube and also enjoyed Touched and Game and Wario. I wasn't big on DIY though, but that's because I'm not the creative type. But you can imagine that I was very happy when I first saw this stage. WarioWare is set in the Variety Tower from WarioWare Inc. and will occasionally turn into one of nine micro games. If you win the game, you get either a Super Mushroom, Heal a Bit, or a Star Power which if you get the star power, you pretty much win the match. And if you lose the micro game, you don't win anything. I will admit that I don't typically play on this stage all that much because the micro games really distract from the battle, but they can be fun when just wanting to have a good time. PictoChat. PictoChat is a very unique stage concept. You fight on this black platform that just has the group you're in and one of the player's names. But what's cool about this stage is that there is a variety of different obstacles drawn to make the battle more interesting. There are many different drawings like a house, a pinwheel, a whale, and stuff like that. Some of this stuff will hurt or disrupt the battle, like some wind, but they don't hurt the battle too much. My only nitpick is that I wish the name that showed up on the bottom was one of the player's nicknames if there was one on the field, but it's whatever. Battlefield. This theme looks incredible and is the design that has been used for Battlefield since. I just love this theme so much more than the Battlefield and Melee, though that one was pretty cool, but this one is just so much better. And like every other Battlefield, it is a very simple platform layout, but the theme just makes me love it so much more. Not much else to say about this one, just a good looking stage that is fun to fight on. Bridge of Elden. Bridge of Elden is probably my most played stage from Brawl. It takes place on a long bridge, which would have been great on its own, but the game devs added King Bulbin and Lord Bulbo, who will drop a bomb that'll destroy the middle of the bridge. But it'll rebuild itself. My favorite things about this stage, and what made me play on it so much, is the music and the beautiful visuals. This stage looks amazing and is the perfect stage to come from Twilight Princess. The only reason why it isn't any higher is the fact that it is a walk-off which many of you probably know by now, I don't like walk-offs very much. But at least it's a pretty large bridge, I guess. Pirate Ship. 
Pokemon Stadium 2. Pokemon Stadium 2 is a great stage, but not as good as Pokemon Stadium 1 in my opinion. The problem I have with it are some of the new layouts. There's the flying layout, which makes the game 10 times more floaty. But it can be pretty fun sometimes, I guess. Then there's also the ground layout, which reminds me of the layouts from Pokemon Stadium 1. With very simple design and no major hazards. As for the layouts I don't enjoy, there's an ice layout that isn't horrible, but it does have ice physics, which really hurts my enjoyment. And then there's the electric layout, which just isn't fun. These conveyor belts are just the absolute worst. But something I do like about this stage are the Pokemon in the background of each layout. I guess it really adds some personality to the stage. And the layouts that aren't annoying are pretty fun to fight on. And at least the two bad ones are more creative than the ones in Melee. Smashville. Smashville is such a simple stage. All it consists of is a flat platform with another platform above that that'll move from side to side. But that's why I love it. I'm just really into the more simplistic stages. But don't worry, there's a bit more to be said about this one. Some other things I like about it is how the time of day affects the time of day of the stage. I also love how KK Slider will perform at 10pm. That's a really neat touch and I'm glad it was added to the stage. I also like how all the villagers are hanging out in the background. The background itself is just nice and is accompanied with some great music. Yoshi's Island. I really love the design of Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. It's just so colorful and happy. And the fact that the game devs created a stage based off of this design is awesome. They even made a spring and winter theme, which is pretty cool. The art design is just so perfect, and while it doesn't really fit with Brawl's mood, it doesn't feel totally out of place. The stage is also hazardless, but there is a platform that'll show up every once in a while, so if you want to count that, you can. But it doesn't disrupt the match for me. To be honest, it just makes the stage better. I know some people might hate it if they spike their opponent, but they land on the platform going up. I know I'd probably hate it too if the match I were in were incredibly competitive, but I'm not that type of person, so I'm fine with the platform. Halberd. This stage just looks so cool. The Halberd was a great choice for a stage, and a great stage to accompany Meta Knight on his debut. It doesn't fit Kirby or DDD as much as something like Green Greens, but it doesn't really matter. Halberd is the type of stage that suspends platforms in the air that'll fly around the ship. I really like stages like this, and I wish there were more like it. But the platforms will land on the top of the Halberd, where there are cannons and lasers that'll fire at you. Not something I would have added, but doesn't really bother me. This stage also has some great fitting music, though some tracks don't fit at all. <laughs> Castle Siege. Great to finally have a Fire Emblem stage, but I'm only really a fan of the first layout. The second one is okay, but the third one isn't that great. Shadow Moses Island. The stage is cool, but I only ever fight on it to listen to the music. And I don't really do that anymore because I can just listen to it off my phone, so yeah, I don't really play on this stage too much. Final Destination. Final Destination is fine in this game, but what keeps me from liking it as much as some other stages are these ledges. When I try to recover, there's a good chance I won't actually grab the ledge. I'll just recover into the area that the ledge sticks out. Lilac Cruise. Pretty fun, but the stage tilting can get pretty annoying. Spear Pillar. I love the top half of the stage and wish the bottom half just wasn't there. And the Pokemon that spawn disrupt too much, with the worst defender being Palkia. But I do like how Spear Pillar was made into a stage.
Dolfino Plaza. Of course this would be my favorite stage. Anyone that has been subbed to me for a while knows that I have and always will love Super Mario Sunshine. So why wouldn't this stage be number one? Like Halberd, the platforms will suspend in the air above the stage, but unlike Halberd, the stage will drop at a variety of different sections that take place in the game. Some sections are better than others, like I'm not a huge fan of the areas with water, but the stage is still a blast. My favorite section would probably have to be the top of the sunshine, but has anyone noticed that it's kind of rare to get that? It's probably just me, but I'm never able to get that one. But oh well, the stage is still great. Thank you all for watching my video on my top 10 favorite brawl stages, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave your absolute favorite stages in the comments below. Next time, I will be covering both Wii U and 3DS versions of Smash 4, so I hope to see you next time, goodbye. Thank you.